You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yep. DC, yo. Uh oh! Ah! <laughs> hey, congrats on getting the TRL gig, man. Hey, man, I appreciate it, man. This seat hot, man. There's a lot of stuff going on it's in here. Hot ass this is a hot seat, seat it's a hot man. Seat I sure. need a pillow. So you better be careful. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm you scared. You don't host the TRL. Hey, I'll tell you. Oh, my bad. You always give me. You tell me. You always in here chewing gum. I was in the I was in the office with one of the execs at MTV, and they was telling me they want to bring TRL back and. They gonna get DC to host, and I well, said, I, I said that's dope. You knew. I said I've been new, but I said, can oh. DC read teleprompter though? Yeah, I can read. I ain't say because you, you can read. Why would you assume that he can't read? <laughs> That's the same thing. Reading a teleprompter is reading. Is Why would he be able to read but can't read a teleprompter? <laughs> but, but you know, it's like a test. You know, like the end of the movie, you always try to read the names. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, you yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah. Forget it. You know, because it's, it's, it's moving too fast. But no, I make the words big enough. Because the reason <laughs> Yeah, I'm no. like, hey, you need that little bit bigger. Because the reason was when DC first started on TV, like when I had you on Uncommon Sense, oh, I man. can understand you because I'm from the South. Yeah. But a lot of the execs was like, we what do you say? What he's saying? Yeah, I had to, I had to learn how to be articulate. You know, you, <laughs> you know. Have to take speech <laughs> therapy class? classes. No, yeah. I just when I read more, you know what I'm saying. You kind of like sound words out that you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it make you be articulate. You know, so I had to just learn how to just start talking because I'm so southern. I can tell when I come up here. Like I don't say seven, I say sound. There you go. Eleven o'clock. There you go. You know what I'm mean? saying? Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. You know what I'm, I'm going to call the street. There you go. No, I put a K. Hey, yeah, I put a K. I'm going to call the street. Are uh, y'all about to start doing your patois together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to play? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's just like the Ambulance. That's just like the Ambulance. That's just like the Ambulance. Go to the strip club. Ambulance. Strip club. The Ambulance. Ambulance. The one that that's going to save your ass when you need to go to the hospital. The Ambulance. Ambulance. Yeah. You didn't even get it. You know exactly what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know. Ambulance. <laughs> so, but no, so now I, on, on, you know, on screen, I'll be like, the ambulance, that that hurts. It hurts. They gonna, are they trying to make you tone it down? It ain't really trying to make me tone it down, man. We got a a, a lot of a lot of cool co-hosts, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. My man I, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence. Lawrence a fool, man. Everybody on, yeah, shout out to everybody who on TRL, man. So, you know, I, I, I bring my certain energy, you know, and everybody else bring they 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 power skills to the table, so we gonna make this. We gonna we gonna turn it up. There's a lot of people that there's room for, it, and there's a lot of people like ah, you need this. Guess what, man? We made them bring it out the dead for a reason, man. So what about the crossover <laughs> folks? You, you you familiar with all the all the pop and rhythmic music and all that stuff too? I'm learning. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. Progress. Every time we we get something, I'm like who. <laughs> okay, I'm just learning. Stick, I like this show. I get to learn to the prom, a lot. That's all. No, I stick to the pronto, but yeah. I also learn like what's going on. Like I just learned these. It's a group called Pentatonix. They're a cappella group. But they have won three Grammys ever since 2015 oh, for being name? acapella. Pentatonics. The Pentatonics. The Pentatonics. Okay. And when I go to the hood, I'm like, hey, boy, y'all can be like Pentatonics. You don't need no beat. You can be a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? You right. can get a Grammy for just rapping. I like it. Opening your eyes to new things. There you in the go. World, yeah. In different genres. A lot of stuff. Now we can get married because I'm grown. Oh, and congratulations on the baby. See you know what I'm saying? Appreciate See, you. She brought you right back. <laughs> she put me right back in. Oh, Lord. Congratulations on the baby. How's your mama? They always. Everything good. Out, girl. How is she? <laughs> nah, everything good. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing, man. You know, my beautiful baby, she's crazy. How has fatherhood changed you? Uh, it made me like, like certain stuff I don't like to do no more. Like, I don't really like going to the club like that. I don't really like hanging out, paying eight. Past eight? I, yeah, I don't got lame. <laughs> like, as soon as it get like 8.15, I'll be like, all right, y'all, I'm finna go to the store. There you go. Blunt, go home, man. There you go. Yeah, man. But, you know, she 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 keep me grounded. Her look crazy. I got to be here to make sure she don't mess with a dude like me. <laughs> what was it like? Were you there when she was giving birth? And Oh, man, let me tell y'all this story, right? So she was getting born, and my, and my girl was shitting on herself. She <laughs> pfft. That's, 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 that's normal. You're pushing, that's normal. And you're no, pushing. man. Cause that's I'm, normal. It's normal, that but. It's normal. But it coming out though, like it was more shit than the baby. So I'm like, hey, you you pushing the wrong hole, baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when my baby came out, her head was deformed. No, was she had deformed. Zika. Nah, she had no disease. But you know, the coming head was coming out yeah, so much. It, it was the, 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 the head was the hardest part for it to come out. Coming out the, coming out the vagina. Sometimes yeah. the head is not. It's like a little. It's yeah, like a little yeah, smush. Yeah, 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 a little smush. Yeah, 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 so yeah. when she came out, I was like, oh man, I done got a slow ass baby. Man. All the people you done teased. I'm like, all oh. the people you done teased. You I'm, thought it came back around. I asked the doctor. I said, please, man, my baby got a cone head. Please, do you know who I am? I need this baby head to start growing. Can we take her head off another baby head and put her? Please. And she was like, no, that's normal. I'm like, baby. Then they shape it. Two they hours. 
flowers. It's still they shape the head? flat. Yeah, they do. They shape it. No, they kind of like. They don't shape yeah, they head. do. Yes, they do. They shape it. I was over there pushing her head like, baby, you need to do this. <laughs> but now it that. came out. You know what I'm saying? Her head came out crazy. So she, she got she got a good head. She just still bald head though, man. How old is she? Uh. She going on nine months. Well, look at you, and it you still some, got a nice hairline. It takes some time, some time. Yeah, you're but the still. only one out of the guys in the room with a hairline. They old. Yeah, you? we old. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but there be guys your age whose hairlines be back here too. Yeah, but I got red blood. You seen Safari one? Oh man, I seen man. Let me tell you, <laughs> Safari, you my home, but cut your hair, man. Please stop using the Beijing, man. He like, Please. He, got, he took the he took the eye line pencil and drew his head. Man, like, he, he got he got the Beijing right here. I can see it. Did his hair. Just cut bald head, please. Just go bald. But anywho, about my bald head, baby. I seen another little boy, boy who was just born had a head full of hair. Mm. Mm. Yeah, my old mom came out with, with a head full of hair. All oh, y'all did? Yeah. I think you're scared of your own comedy, see. You done tease so many people that you don't want nothing to be wrong with your little girl. It ain't that. It ain't that. See, now her teeth start growing in. And I, 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 I'm Already? looking at the teeth. Yeah. She got little teeth, but they skinny. I said, ooh, she going to have some alligator teeth. God damn it. Oh, my. <laughs> well, can she walk? Can she walk now? She, she, doing a little, she got a little bamboo leg going on. She, she you know what I'm saying? Now, she, she walking around, doing a little something. Right. Touching stuff. She ain't got no business touching. You know, like my roaches. So <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, whole ad tray on the ground. Come on now. Now I can't even find the <laughs> Sit down somewhere. Now, did you cry when she was born? I ain't cry. Because when she first came out, I was the first person she looked at. It was like, oh, like, oh, that's me. I was like that. I was just happy. Like, she finally here. You keeping the family together? You and the mom together? And all yeah, that? man, I brought, I brought them down to me, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I see my child every time I go home. You know, I don't play. Have you moved to New York yet? TRL's in New York, Yeah, right? I'm here. So we here. You live yeah, here. Yeah, I'm up here. Yeah, okay. I'm a New Yorker. God. You hate it? You don't like it? Man, I'm too Southern for this, man. Yeah, you'll get used to it. I, I know I can't. the same way no, when I, I moved can't. So what's different about being here in New York that you notice is so different from being in the South? Y'all rude. That's a fact. Definitely rude. Y'all, and we're always in a rush. Y'all, is, I had to stop somebody the other day because he bumped me so hard. I walk, I follow him across the street. Said, "Hey, I, I need that excuse me, big dog. <laughs> I need that excuse me, but you like the 30th person that they hit me today. I need my excuse me." Did he say excuse me? Yes, he did. But you, you in A rap, you, you like? Huh? I was like, "All right, that's that's good enough." You came at a good time though. At least New York got Chick Fil A now. New York ain't had no Chick Fil A oh, when I was here. Yeah, 10 y'all years got ago. McDonald's, ever, but I did find a little deli spot that got like some soul food. Okay, hard. Y'all got pizza every, on every corner, we do have man. A lot of pizza. You been to Harlem yet? Oh, I had no. I ain't been to Harlem. Uh, you gotta go to Harlem, man. That's where all the good food yeah, is in the hood. Yeah. Amy Roof's taste seafood. But it's like seafood. on a thousand street. What what what, 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 what Harlem? One twenty fifth. Y'all got a thousand streets. <laughs> they just gave up on names. Look, just start numbering them. <laughs> you should move to Jersey too. Jersey Jersey give you more of a southern feel. Yeah, so there's I, I, trees and yeah, you it's see a little deer. slower pace. Yeah, because you know, New York is so fast and crowded. It's fast and y'all cabs, man. They'll pull over, let you grab the dough handle and pull straight on off. Ooh, listen. that's because you black. But don't pull over though. If you ain't gonna just be like, ah, I know you race. Ah, yeah, yeah. keep going. But don't pull over. Let me grab the dough handle and you pull off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have ran on my, my foot. <laughs> like, you know what? Maybe they follow you on Instagram and say, oh, that's a funny guy. And they want to be funny too. But this did the thing though. I have, I, I've been trying to catch a cab so long, I just end up walking. God. Right, I said, you know what? I might as well walk. I've been sitting 10 minutes trying to catch a I cab. I would have been there. You been on the trains yet? They ain't going on no train. Nah, gonna get wrong. You. There you go. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm I, from the south. I know what happens when you go on the train. I take the Me train too. all the time. Yeah, the good train. But the I one that's it. actually on the the track train. <laughs> <laughs> like, we ain't talking about the tunnel train. No, I take the train. We talk about the reason, the reason why. <laughs> she on the rich folk train, you know. It's because it train. gets you places yeah. faster. Yeah. No, I take the regular take New York regular City train. subway. She crazy. By the way, because you got like two stops. My mother works for Transit Authority, so I grew up always. No, you can't use that. Be like, my mama work for them. Like, oh, can't give me the money. But I'm just used to it. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, I took the train my whole life. So you thugging. See, why you need a man in your life? Why you got you riding? Train anyway. Uh, it's faster. Ain't no faster. Abby, is the train faster? It is faster. They say it is. I'm scared. I'm scared, scared of terrorist year. attacks though. Maybe maybe once. I'm gonna ride the train just just so I can get the culture of the New Yorkers. I'm gonna take, take, take you on the train. You don't need it. I'm I'm gonna just. But everybody, everybody like it's hot. It's overrated. I tried. It I went down the steps. I came back. I said, but it is it hell. Is that's gonna be the day down of, here. That's gonna be the day of the terrorist attack. The day you ride it. The only thing They've I didn't been like that for the longest they're gonna attack the trains. The only thing I didn't like I was that woman it. was on the train and that guy I ain't on said. her. So that was the problem. <laughs> the what? Well, when the the woman that was on the train and she fell asleep and she woke up and the guy was peeing. Yeah, in her guy face. was peeing on her. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's terrible. See, y'all, y'all do a lot of rude. Y'all is rude. That is rude. <laughs> That's beyond rude. But I like I like the New York women though. They're aggressive. Like 
the way they be like chopping dudes off, I be like, oh, I ain't, I ain't shit. I like that. <laughs> you, you, you been getting some New York pussy? I mean, you know. He's in a relationship, just had a baby. <laughs> he want to say fuck hey you guys. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. No, nah, man, you know, well, one thing about me, I, I take care of home, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real one first. I'm a, I'm a baby. You know what I'm saying? Go. I, family come first. Like, hey, 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 baby, you can't respect that. You got to be quiet while I'm on FaceTime with my family. Then you got to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Shh. But they, I mean, listen. <laughs> They know you young. You having a good time? Hey. <laughs> that dude's got to cheat with <laughs> <laughs> This guy's crazy. No, but no, nah, man, but they, they, you know, they respect it. You know what I'm saying? They like, respect it. They respect it. All right, now let's talk about Kevin Hart because you're going to be on his platform. That's my dude. Yeah, so what is it that you have going on? I know you guys have partnered up. Uh, We got the, um, I'm on a couple of things with, with Kevin Hart. You know, he got, uh, he got the platform, but my boy King Batch had done wrote the little some skits on there and they they done made them like it's a series like mm-hmm. a little like a little webisode like, it's like some walking dead but like they they actually be human you know what i'm saying so i'm doing a couple of episodes on that so be looking out for that i don't even know where it's going to be out at yeah 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 it's a tv it, show it, they keep saying sketches? like it's lol is coming it's i'm like, like where is it coming it's a streaming service that he has but but what, what, what is it is it like netflix all oh, they told me was come do this and come get my check mm mm-hmm. mhm and that's what I did. I ain't know where we're gonna be at. That could email me the web. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't know what's going on. But wherever it's at, go go get it. So what's going on with your talent agent? Because I know there was a situation. You were saying that most of the stuff you got, you kind of got for yourself. See, let me you tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about that situation. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Cause TMZ like to take <laughs> situations and retwist words and all that. I ain't suing nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We just. Two grown people that just couldn't come to an understanding. We just part ways. Right. That's it. So in other words, you don't deserve no... to get a percentage of stuff that you didn't bring in. DC's, DC's See, realizing that agents don't really do nothing. No. No. That ain't what I said because I got an agent. But they don't really do nothing. I bet you my can agent, on your own. My agent and innovative do. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was just a disagreement between two grown men mm-hmm. that just couldn't come to an understanding. And that was it. Cause they good people. They know how to handle their business. You know what I'm saying? But when I wanted this way, we just couldn't see out of eye. So we just part ways, and that's it. Your agent gets you a lot of projects. Yeah. Okay. And okay, I go okay. out there and I and then I bring it home. I, that's what I told him. I said, listen, it's like selling dope, man. If you got the dope, let me go. Let me go out here and get the customers, man. So just get my foot in the door, and then I take. Yeah. It let me go get the customers, man. And I'm if, even if the dope bad, it's gonna get sold. <laughs> oh my God. Well, how you like wilding out? Man, wilding out crazy. That, that's 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 like that's like home. You know you know who I would love to see go back and forth. You and Jesse. Oh, me and Jesse, man, you me and Jesse see, hilarious. Me and Jesse hilarious. That's like that's like my cousin with her little ugly big nose <laughs> ass. But now nah, that's that's that. I know look, sound like this microphone. Ah! But no, nah, man, that's 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 the that's the road, dog, man. I'm just I'm just proud that she was on the show, man. Just seeing like all like the social medias people coming together and just turning up because I had to tell. Her, I said, look, we social media people. I don't know. They they just call us that. So when we get on these platforms, we got to show out. You know what I'm saying? Because they always be like, they can't do this on the stage. They can't do this in real life. They just on the phone. I'm like, all right, that cool. That cool. But when when you get the opportunity, shut them up. And when you shut them up, they're going to be like, man, I always knew you could do that. No, you didn't. You got to make them believe us. So, and that what she did. Love and Hip Hop Miami? I read that. She's one of the cast members. Jess Hilarious, no? I don't know. No, I thought they were talking about I Am Jess, the, the promoter out yeah, there. Yeah, the promoter. Simply uh, I Jess. saw her picture on there, too. I oh, don't you know. did? I thought it was talking about Simply Jess. I was about to say, now that's messed up. I don't know. I don't know. I was about to say, <laughs> the I'm only way you get on that show, you got to be fighting. Or, or, Hold or, on, or, let me look it up. I feel fuck. Like she I might be ready picture. to fight. Who, Jess? Yeah. She, she, like she was ready to scrap with Meek Mill. Yeah, she was going to Meek Hart. Yeah, I seen her. You look you little boy. I was like, ah! You know Baltimore people talk funny. Yeah. They be like, yeah, true. I be like, did you put a ooh in I, that? I saw them. Uh, I saw them break into your, all your cars this week. Yeah, in the hood, man. man. I had to Broke hit you into up, my car. Man. Yeah, he hit me up. He said, man, look, don't be in the hood. I said, look, I don't stay in the hood. My cars were just in the hood. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> yeah. was just in the hood. Yeah, they broke them all three, but um, all oh, three, all three, and they know, and they know them my car. But the only thing is, they stole some Tims and a radio. Ha ha! I used to steal in car. I used to break in car. Like, you think I'm gonna leave something in my car? You fool. You fools. 
Ha ha! You didn't get nothing. Ha ha! <laughs> Why do you think they did that? Just hate? Or they they knew him? They, 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 they thought it was gonna be something else. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's you never know when you break. But well, you never know. You break to a car. People don't have a bank account. Yeah, you're right. It'd be a whole trunk full of clothes, man. I'm taking all that. What's the, what's I know somebody who who wear these. What's the best lick you ever got when you broke in a car back in the day? Ooh, like some pistols. Mm-hmm. Man, it was like my rob. Like I used to, I used to rob, but it used to be like for petty stuff. I said, man, I, I be all right, man. I'm a hustler, man. Let, let, give me, give me the weed. Man. That, that's what I do. Like mm-hmm. I, used to, I mean, I robbed a nigga for twenty dollars. For twenty dollars. At boy, gunpoint. Man, I thought he had more than that. <laughs> I'm getting to me. When it, he, he had it in his sock too. I said, ooh, jackpot. $20. This nigga, $20? You hiding $20? <laughs> Who is you hiding $20 from? Why you robbed him, though? Why, why, what, you thought he had money? Man, he looked like he had money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A little jewelry stuff, like all that. I was like, okay. I was like, but when I say he only had $20, man, I said, man, please go on, man. Did he get back? Did he get back at 20 did I get him back at 20? Yeah. No, I oh. still had it like this. I'm like, go on, man, go on. Put little funky 20. What about anybody you ever robbed now see you and be like, oh, that was that's DC Young Fly. You got a tattoo right here. That's, that's <laughs> you gotta be obvious. masked up, man. What's wrong with y'all? My city's <laughs> small. If you rob somebody bad face, you gotta oh. do something extra. Oh, you masked up? Yeah, you gotta be masked up. You, you got to. You gotta kill him is what you yeah, say. Yeah, you know. Yeah. How long, how long did your life of crime last? Whew. Till I got stabbed up. You got stabbed? Yeah, I got to a street brawl in 2013. Got stabbed up four times right here. Got stabbed up right here. Got stabbed twice right here. Got stabbed in the back. Got hit in the head with a pole. By one person? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and I was like, it was like a brawl. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a little street brawl. So I don't know who stabbed me. I was just fighting. Before you know it, I was like, whoo, but these swings getting a little slow. <laughs> God damn. You lose God, a lot of blood. Lose a lot of blood. <laughs> God damn. I'm okay, getting beat up, y'all. This, this ain't going how we play. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't going how we play it. But yeah, man, that 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 kind of like changed my life in the whole 2013 situation. So you know, so that's when you started doing comedy, or mm-hmm. that would if you go. But I think we we said this on the first on um, Brother Club. Like I got stabbed up in 2013. Uh, then after that, I started doing the vines later on that year, and then just kept going. I don't remember you telling us you got stabbed up. No, I don't remember that even. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that would happen. Now you you never took acting <laughs> classes or nothing, right? Yes, I did. I took you a couple. Did? Okay. Cup, I still do, man. Uh, down there, uh, Dwayne Boyd down there in Atlanta. I still take some um, some acting classes, man. You know, you got to be. One thing is, I always room for improvement. I don't mm-hmm. care. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Like I always tell people, I don't, I don't. The more and more that I keep going, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm blessed. I'm humble. I, I just take it and I keep going. You know, as I learn from all my experiences. But you got some people that be like, "Boy, you doing your thing? Boy, you." you you shitting on them. I'm like, nah, man, I ain't tripping. I'm like, I don't brag, man. I just let people brag for me. Right. Like, I don't. Like, but you the shit. I, you, you said it. I didn't. <laughs> now, you, you, know? you, went on, you went on tour. Now, how, how was that going on tour? Because everybody Which one? expected you. Your first one that, that you went on. You I went on like, with Chris Brown, too, <sighs> which you did your own. Now, not the one Chris that Brown, was but before lit. that, when you went on your own tour. Oh, talking yeah. about with the comedy? Yeah, and people expected you to fail because they were like, they don't know how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. How was that tour? It was it was, it was was good, man. It was, it was fun because, like, now we don't reach August. I've been doing stand up since 2014, so I've been doing it for three years. Were you nervous, your first stand up tour? Yeah, not really nervous. It's just every everybody, even the the the, the OGs in the game, it's it's just butterflies before you go on stage because everybody just want to perform well. Mm-hmm. Cause we all know what our peak is when we get on stage and when we feeling it, we can feel it. It's just like everything we say be funny because it's just on stage we we feel in the moment. The crowd loving us, we, everything that's coming out of our mouth just be on point. So you know what I'm saying? That's case I think, scenario. Yeah, the best case scenario. <laughs> woo. Why? You I'm bomb yet? Yeah, I'm bomb before. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I had people not listen straight up. That's the worst. And people are just talking and you. Oh yeah, stage. matter of fact, I I'll never forget. I had a. Uh, what city was it in? I had a in my own city, but this <laughs> this another one. I had a show in. I didn't really bomb. I just had a show with um with Keisha Cole. What's up, Keisha? Uh, it was me, Keisha, and some other dude who did poetry. I don't know what the hell he was doing. So I get on stage. I'm doing my thing. I'm talking about it was a gangster nigga. Front row. He like, shut up, nigga. Nobody want to hear that. Whoa. <laughs> I said, who the hell you talking to? But do you know why I, I would roast your one tooth having that? Like, <laughs> and he was like, nigga, I want to see Keisha. <laughs> I said, you want to see Keisha out of all people? He like, yeah, man, nobody want to hear all that fun ass shit. I came to see Keisha. I said, well, she, when she come out, you better sing every word. Man, I be damn. 
when she came out, he was in the front row. Love. <laughs> I was like, man, never again will I perform with another artist. I was like, oh, it got to be straight comedy. Well, he did Chris Brown. How was the Chris Brown tour? Oh, so that was piped up. Mm-hmm. I, I, I hosted his, I hosted the tour. You know what I'm saying? Had to get out there and get the crowd lit. Hey, man, that boy a goat. He that, is. that boy, yeah, that is. boy, you got talent listen. wise, he's a goat. And he's the a goat. way that he can dance and sing, and then even with his background, I'm a dancers, fan. It's like I had the first CD. It. I had the first CD when he had on a yellow shirt when he was in the Wonder, mm-hmm. like this. So <laughs> I, I've been a fan, and it was just a, it, and when I when I actually like seen him perform, I was like, man, this. I'm every show was like new. If Chris hadn't put them speed, if he hadn't put them speed knots on Rihanna's forehead, he'd be on. Man, Beyonce y'all level. can't say that. Man. That would have been. That's that's what it was. You don't know what happened in the car. We saw the pictures. We saw the documentary. He talked about it in his yeah. documentary. He He'd have been on Beyonce. I, don't, I ain't see that. I ain't see that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say. But get what, though? You can't judge a man until you actually see him, like, in action, like what he was put here on earth to do. You ever ask him to um, teach you how to dance and do things? Nah, I know how to dance myself. Better than Chris Brown? Man, I, I ain't going to tell you I got a surprise. Uh-oh. What you mean you got a surprise? I just got a surprise. Show I'm an a, entertainer. Show us a little move no, right now. No, man. I got a surprise for the world. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, you ain't going to be seeing me dancing on BT or none of that. <laughs> ain't no none of that. You ain't going to be shucking the job. No, I ain't going to be man. shucking the gonna... job. I just entertain the people, man. So you, I got something coming That'd up for you. That'd be hype if you, you introduced step? Chris Brown and then you was one of his background dancers. I'm telling you, listen, when that man <laughs> dance all day, man, the boy dance all day, mm-hmm. on and off stage, even after the show, he just... He dance. I'm like, boy, you you the goat. You the goat. My now you, you you was doing acting before you started taking classes, or you, you... man, I, I was I was always you know when I did the music, I always knew that I like, like the music gonna pop off. Then I'm act, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like because yeah. I was doing acting um, classes in high school, and I always wanted to be like I was in the drama doing all that. Like I was in ninth grade, I went to Carver High School, and we had to recite two monologues. You know what monologues is, right? Yeah. All right, well, uh, you know. Why? <laughs> I had to make sure, you know, be here talking monologues. And they don't know what a monologue is, <laughs> you know. So we had to recite two monologues, but I only knew one. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I, but we had to have two, and it was a project. So I was like, I'm going to just make up one on the spot. So the one I recited that I knew, I ended up getting the 75 on. And the one I made up on the spot, I ended up getting the 98. And I had the whole class, like, afterward, they were just looking at me like, that was great. I had made, made a girl cry and everything. What were you talking about? I was talking about like racial tension. You know what I'm saying? I was talking like a girl was going to school. She got hit outside the head with a rock. You had to see it. It was. I was, <laughs> you, it was you had to see it. Though. I don't really. I don't even know what I said. I was just like. I just fooled everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I always knew I was like, I'm, I'm gonna act one day. You know what I'm saying? But that's my passion to act. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about some stuff in the news, man. What do you think about Donald Trump's? Oh. Ba- no, never mind. Home action. What? Well, no, nah, what no, happened? No, no, no. What do you think about R. Kelly's sex cult? That ain't nothing new. That ain't nothing new. You know, I don't know what's going on in the house, but you know, I don't. You know, you know how that go. Hey man, don't. How does that go? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna pay you to come stay with me. Stop what you're doing. Like when you got money, that you know, the, the conversation be different. You ain't gotta beg no more. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, hey man, you know how you be like, let's go out to eat, let's go catch a movie. Nah, man, huh? Take these twenty, come stay with me for a month. But you know, he got such a history of a sexual predator. That's that's why it ain't really a sex. Don't just, people forgot that he was on Showtime at the Apollo with a sign that say eighteen and up, lying his ass off, saying if your daughter is this. Mm, 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 mm. All in the face. <laughs> he did not say that. Yes, All he in the did. Face? He was like, if your daughter yeah. is like this. He was out there with public announcements. Mm, I remember mm, that. Mm. All they in front of the stage. All on Apollo. That, and it was lit. And they were just screaming, I do me, R. Kelly. So. You ever seen his sex tape? already? I ain't never seen it, man. The uh, one when he actually. Yeah, he, he, he peed. He, he, he came and he peed again. The, 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 the young girl was underage, so you can't look at it. How, how old was she? 13. But then they said she lied and said. She was 18. No. We don't know what happened. And we don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. But that what they wore. They said that she lied. But have you ever seen, like, now I'm getting older. So it's like, the older I get, the babies that was born. And, like, you got to think about it. What what is what year this year? 2017? 2017. Yep. Next year. Can you believe babies that were born in 2000 going to be grown? Legal aid. So you can't even say, man, I did hit a little girl. Blah, what, what, what year she born? Think of 2000? That's, that sounds crazy. So the older I get. So imagine you at young, 23 and R. Kelly at 50. He shouldn't be nowhere near a girl that age. 
Ooh, that's that's twenty three. No, that's that's seventeen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but eighteen is it's over with. It's over with. If she could go buy you a swisher out the store, hey. But you don't feel weird about it now, you know, having a daughter and everything. No, man, you can't stop that. You, you can't if stop you see that. A fifty year old man around your eighteen. Man, I'ma be like, hey, baby, when he go to sleep, go check everything, wallets, <laughs> all that. <laughs> Call your daddy. I come take TVs <laughs> off the wall, all that. I'm with it. No, you not, man. All right. You say that now. <laughs> you gonna shoot at him? All right. Long as he don't put his hand on it. But she gonna know how to fight anyway, so I ain't stunning that. B- Boozy's brother uh, stole 300 grand from his bank account. We allegedly. Had a, we allegedly. 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 We had, a, we had a debate this week. Would you call? Would you press charges on him? I don't do that. On, 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 on play police game. See? That one thing. That one. Listen, listen, to listen, listen, to listen, to listen to me. 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 Sometimes, you, it's, it's not about police games. You got to jump over the police and go straight to the law. Now, we can go to court. I'll sue you, get my money back. I ain't going to call the police and get you locked up, none of that. No, 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 we don't do that. But I'll sue you. But you so got to press charges to get your money criminal. back. It ain't, it ain't really no press charges. It's a, it's a sue. No, you can't do that. You have to press charges against the person to get your money back. Well, I will press charges, but I don't want them locked up. You can't, you, you can't make that decision. <laughs> What's that? That's the state. You can't press charges and be like, I want to press charges, but you can't. All right, but look, this, 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 we, we got, we got alternate, we got alternate suggestions. Okay, go ahead. Where's my money? Or, <laughs> nigga, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been around me all my life. You, that's the thing. I hate when people who really know somebody and you still try, you know what I'm saying? Like you still try them on a, yeah, on a, like yeah, a low yeah. ball of disrespect. Like, I can understand if he ain't know me. Like, he don't know me. He don't know me. He don't know what I'm capable of. Mm-hmm. But like, Nigga, you know me. That's your brother. Why would you do this? But I hate it when it be like family situation. They be like, bro, this. And then it be people that you really look out for. Like you will put, spend your last on. Like that's why I be so hard on my own. Like I be like, no. If you're not bettering yourself, I'm not giving you nothing. That's just straight up. I'm not giving you no money, sell no dope, no none of that. No. You businessman. If you a businessman, rock, I'm rocking with you. You still on that other st- where there, where there. I'll leave mm-hmm. right there. How do your street dudes feel like about your success? Do they are they allowing you to grow? I don't allow, I allow myself to grow. Where? I mean, if, if I don't feel right, I remove myself from the situation. I'm 25. There you go. I don't need no friends. I'm in a, I'm in a man, look, I'm comfortable. Because when I was broke, I had the same friends I had now. There you go. Now, they just the other people coming around. Like, uh-uh, no, no, no. No, I'm grown. I know exactly what I need to do. Like I just like I said, I don't go to the club because I know. Like, what if it pop off, but I get hit with the bullet? Man, I, ain't, I wasn't supposed to be there, bro. Mm-hmm. Right. I want Paul to be there. Now, what else is DC Young Fly up to? I know you've been producing also. Yep, yep. So what's the ultimate, like, for you, what would you like your life to be like with the acting, producing? What do you want to see happen? But, like, I be trying to tell people, like, when, when the acting game, you got to build your name up before you can actually make money. Like, they don't understand. Listen, put this, let me, let me tell you something. Rap money is different from acting money and comedian money. So, cause my, you know, I got friends who really think, why, why you on, boy? Mm-hmm. You doing your thing? No, they understand them rappers get a hit song, they can do a ten a show. They get, show, they get another show, song right? that yeah. just quote unquote buzz and not hitting, not yeah. even on the radio. Now they get a twenty a show, but that comedian man ain't like that. You get two drinks. <laughs> That's it. But you get a drink and two people in free. <laughs> you don't brought thirty people with you. You gonna, you get one bottle, a cup of ice. <laughs> And two people in free, but that comedian money different. So you really have to grind right. and grind. So that's why I take I, I I say the Kevin Hart syndrome. I watch Kevin Hart, and I'm like, man, I'm just going. To, I'm just trying to out hustle everybody. Everybody, I work go. everybody. I'm trying to out hustle everybody. That's the only way. But I, I love to stand up though, man. Cause you know what I'm saying. That's that's consistent, steady money. But it, it's also like I get to be on stage and just be myself. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Just make the world laugh. So. Well, we would love to hear a monologue before you go. <sighs> Which one? By Maya Angelou? Or yeah. who? Make one up. You got a Maya Angelou monologue? Yeah! Let's go. I like that. Let's do a little <laughs> Let me Maya. Hear a little monologue. All right, go. She passed. Yes, she did. No, I don't want to do Maya Angelou. We need somebody that's living. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> we'll do another who? one. I'm going to do Bill. Bill Cosby? No, I ain't going to do that. Women going to be bad lads. They going to kill me. Ah! What, is the, what is the Bill Cosby monologue? You know what? Let's yeah, I'm going to say, well, you don't know me. I go else. crazy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> That was a little boy. He was 14. He's seen a lot of stuff in his life. 
you always want to be prosperous. You always want to be successful. But it was just one thing that was stopping him. What was it? He didn't know. He always wanted to know. He looked around. He watched others be happy. He never once hated. He never once got discouraged. He stayed to himself. And then he turned the fuck up. Who is that guy? D.C. Young. There you, there you go. D.C. <laughs> D.C. Young motherfucker. Hey, hey, my mom was finna cry for a minute. He was like, you know what? That, that, that's that's him to look. It was, you could hear a pin drop yeah, right. during that moment. Nah, listen, we proud of you, man. man we, I appreciate we, 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 we it, man. We watched you come up from the ground. Absolutely. You in movies, going. you on hosting TRL. We finna keep going, man. I, I told you the other I told day, you, you and Cardi B like the success story. I love Cardi so B, man. I love media. Cardi B, yeah. man. I watch her, man. You she on she That for you, Cardi B. She on she I Every time I see her do her thing, hey, man, I'm proud of her, man. For real. She like the girl version of, 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 of me of doing it, like popping off and doing right. it, mm-hmm. going crazy, man. I, love, I just love seeing. That one thing about black people, man. Black people, we need to love each other, man. Every time go. somebody yes, doing do. something, congratulate them, man. Yes, Stop we hating. Right. We got so much hate going on. Like, we just got so much hate going on. I agree. On. It don't and make no so sense. we so quick to tear each other down. Quick. Quick. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's always a good out of a situation. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Just peep the good and just keep moving, man. Cardi B got a hit record before you, though. Man, Cardi B got a hit. <laughs> she got a hit. And, they, and I ain't gonna lie, I be singing it too. Yeah, I be in the club singing. She getting that club These money too, blood boy. Shoes. I, be, I be having on brown shoes like that. I'm like, man, hey, man, fuck it. I love this song. <laughs> My goodness. It's the Breakfast Club. It's DC Young Fly. Yeah.